All right, this is another one where you're going to want your calculator, your trusty calculator handy, the law of cosines. So the law of sines did not work for everything. The cosine law will help you fill in those blanks. So the law of sines, you needed a corresponding angle with a side. This will allow you to figure out some of those missing sides or angles, even if you don't have a corresponding part. So this works for triangles when you're given two sides and the angle in between them, so side angle side triangles, or for the ones where you're just given the three lengths of the triangle, the side 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 triangles. So look at these formulas. These are crazy. Very similar to the Pythagorean theorem though, where you have, you have one side squared equals the other two sides squared and add them together. The difference is you have this correction because that only works for right triangles. So the correction is they have this minus two times the same sides times the cosine of whatever's on the other side. And it works for all the sides. So if you're looking for B, you're going to do A squared plus C squared minus 2AC cosine B. For C, you have C squared equals A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cosine C. So it always starts and ends with the same letter. So let's try it out. Um, the first one we'll go, we'll go kind of slow with. But if you look here, we are given two sides and the angle in between. We know that that's 100 degrees, but we don't know either of the other ones. So if we're looking for side B here, the formula says that you can do B squared equals the other two legs squared, so 5 squared plus 7 squared minus 2 times those same two sides, 5 and 7, times the cosine of the corresponding angle. So the corresponding angle for B would be the 100 degrees. Kind of in the way there. There we go. All right, now you can do this whole right side in your calculator. Let's see. 5 squared plus 7 squared minus 2 times 5 times 7 times the cosine of 100. And it comes out to 85.155. Oh, sorry, 86.155. But that's B squared. We still have to square root. So we're going to square root both sides. And we'll approximate it. We'll go to the nearest 10. So we'll say B is approximately... Let's see, square root that answer, 9.28, so we'll say 9.3 for B. Cool, great. Now we need to figure out the other angles. So you can figure them out with this same formula, the cosine formula, or you can dip back and dip into the, the sine formula from yesterday. So whichever one you're more comfortable with at this point, go with. Honestly, to me, the sine one is a little easier. But let's try one with this cosine. So let's just find like angle A. So remember, it starts with that corresponding side. So the side that corresponds with A is 7. So we can say 7 squared equals the other two sides squared. 5 squared plus 9.3 squared minus two times those same two legs, 5 and 9.3, times the cosine of that angle. Now, we don't know what angle A is, so we'll say cosine A. Now, I'm going to scooch this down a bit while I work on this. This side, we'll have to do a little bit of work, so I'm going to start the next video uh, to finish this one up.